Are you confused by all the glues? Six different glues can be intimidating, but today we're here to explain to you which glue you need and for what. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Welcome to Apogee Components. My name is Allison Van Milligan. I am... She's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's here to help us today explain glues. Yes. So we have basically four glues um, plus two accessories. So we're going to go through each of these glues. Um, the first one is the super thin variety. And these glues are made by Bob Smith Industries, even though they do have an Apogee label on them. They label them for us. Um, but we get them fresh, so they're guaranteed for two years. Um, so the, you have the super thin, and it's as thin as water. The next one is called the gap filling, which is a little bit thicker. Then we have the extra thick variety. And then finally, we have an odorless variety, and this one is also water thin. And then for the accessories, we have a debonder and a, an accelerator. So which of these glues do you use, and then how would you use them? So Allison's going to demonstrate. First, we're going to talk about the super thin glue. And the super thin glue uh, is the most, I think it's the strongest because it's the most pure, because it doesn't have any fillers in it. Uh, but it's also uh, a little bit dangerous, and we don't recommend it for kids because you can splash it. And always wear safety glasses when you're using the super thin. Um, and we like to use an applicator tip as well. So show them the applicator. Hold it in your hand. There you go. Um, this allows you to put it in a precise location. And um, that's going to be important. And it also prevents, you know, splashing too much. Um, it will, because it is super glue, it will bond your skin instantly. Um, another thing about super glue is it's exothermic. So when it cures, it does heat up a little bit. And so if you get some on and it, it starts curing, you're going to feel it. Um, so a number of things that we use the super thin for. Um, the first one is to seal the surface of balsa fins. So she's got a balsa wood fin here. And we put this on and we use the applicator tip is kind of a, like a little paintbrush to paint it on. Um, but if you put it on a little bit too thick and you want to spread it out, take a plastic bag like she's showing here and kind of wipe it and smooth it out. And that will kind of get out any of the, the puddles that are on the surface. Um, and it, that way you're not wasting as much either, you know, because you're spreading it out. Um, and it, it's kicking off pretty much as fast as she's putting it on. Um, and it's creating fumes that uh, can be irritants to your eyes. Um, so you want to use this in a well-ventilated place. Um, I like to have a fan blowing over. I could smell it. It's, it's kicking off pretty good here. Um, you also have paper towels to wipe it off. And is it is it cured, Allison? Yeah, it's cured. You can touch it and it's not bonding? Okay. So the other thing that we use it for is for parts that are already pre-mated together and then you can put just a drop on the, the, the joint and it will wick into the joint and really bond. And so for this, we're gonna put on a fin and we're gonna use a fin jig because once you put it into the fin jig, um, they are touching each other. Okay, so she's got the fin jig and we've got a fin. Okay, and then she's just going to put one little drop of glue right in front and then one drop of glue in the back. And, and this is when I will use the InstaSet accelerator. We already opened this one, so we're going to use this one. So you can just spray it on just like that. And that will make the glue dry so that the fin will be stuck and you can pull the fin right out and your fin is glued onto your rocket. Okay, and at that point, um, you can put on a fin fillet. And for that, we like the Maxi Cure uh, because the Maxi Cure doesn't um, 
it, it won't run on you. So um, you're probably wondering what's the difference between the Maxi Cure and the gap filling, which is kind of like the middle. And we're going to do a little experiment here. Um, so I'm going to use the, the gap filling and she's got the thick. Okay. So you can see there's two little puddles and we're just going to tilt it up and you can see this one is running a lot more than this one. So this one will run, but not very much. Um, so we like the thick for fin fillets because we want them to stay in place as you put them on. Um, so now she's gonna do a balsa fin and for this, we're gonna use the gap filling. So whenever the parts are not already pre-touching each other together, we're gonna use the gap filling. So for this, I like to just take the gap filling glue and just put a line of glue right on the edge of the fin like this. It does not need to be perfect because you won't see it anyways. And then you can just take your fin and glue it right on your line you drew on on your rocket to make sure your fin's straight. And you can hold it there and then you can again spray it with your accelerator or a lot of the times what we like to do so we can make sure we get the accelerator in the right spot and aren't just spraying the body tube and getting it all wet. We take the straw out of the bottle and we just dab it along the line where we put the glue. And this will also not waste as much accelerator, so you'll get your money's worth more. And then you can just wipe off any excess you have like that. And give a test. How, how, how good is that? It's pretty good. <laughs> okay. break it up. But just to be extra sure, we can use the extra thick glue and put a fillet of glue along the edge like this. And then I like to take my plastic bag again and wipe it down so I get a nice smooth edge and to wipe off any excess glue so I don't have to go back and sand it off later because that is never fun. And then you can again spray this and now you have a fillet on your fin and it is incredibly strong now once you have it glued with the fillet. So now if, if you're gluing like things like nose cones like this, Again, we're gonna, since the parts are separate, this is a little test, what glue should we use? Gap filling glue. Gap filling glue, so. We're gonna use the purple one again. And I like to put the glue on the inside so then the glue doesn't squirt out as much. So if you put it on the outside and then you slide it in, what she's saying is it's gonna, it's gonna go over the edge. And so by putting it on the inside, um, it will- All the glue will stay All the glue on, stays on the inside. And then once you got it together, give it a little twist to kind of smear it around. And it, in a couple of minutes, it will lock tight. Now, if you want it to, to lock tight faster, you can actually spray this on the other half that you didn't put the glue on. And when you bring them together, they'll lock tight. But this, but is, this is already- This is already tight. Tight. Yeah. Okay, what else we got to talk about? Oh, our next one is the odorless or foam safe variety. Now this one is a bit more expensive because it is formulated for people that are allergic to the fumes uh, of the regular super glue. And it's also foam safe, so it doesn't melt foam. Um, this one we like for um, thin vacuform plastic because um, this glue won't attack it. Remember, it's foam safe. So if I had a piece of foam like this, and if I put super glue on it, it's gonna melt this. But this foam safe won't. So if you have any types of foam that you wanna glue together, um, this will work very well. Remember when you use this one, this one is thin, not like the other two, so it's gonna come out fast when you are applying it. You see how fast it comes out? It runs a lot more than... So again, this one would be a good one for using the tips on. So these kind of nose cones also will melt with the other kinds of glue. So the foam safe glue will not create any melting, but it will keep your nose cone glued together like this. And we also use this one, back and form wraps, and we're gonna show you how to put these on real quick. There's also videos on Apogee website, like for the Saturn kits, where we'll show you, you know, in detail how to put these vacuum form wraps on. So we're just kind of doing it fast right here. So basically you put the glue on the two edges of the wrap 
and hold it down till that sticks. Might need some accelerator. Might need some accelerator. <laughs> so now it is glued down. So then on the edges, you can take your foam safe glue and just go around the edges and this will help your wrap stay glued to your body. Because it's so, so water thin, it just wicks right underneath and it'll lock those edges right down. And again, it's safe for the parts that you're gluing together. And then finally, uh, we have the Uncure Debonder, which is the green bottle. Um, and this, it will dissolve the glue. So if you glue things together that you, you want it to come unstuck, this is what you would use. So if you have any questions about which glues to use, you can come visit us at the Apogee website. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. And then also there's a subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, there'll be a little bell next to it. And that's the notification bell. And if you click on the notification bell, you will also be uh, get a notification via email from YouTube when we release a new video. So my name is Tim Van Milligan, and this is... Allison Van Milligan. And may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.